The pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. So it's second down and 13 yards to go following that quarterback sack. Stop behind the line. But you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Rolls to the tailback, incomplete. So the stop there on third and long, and that's going to bring up a punting situation. The defense held their ground on that play, but the quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. Booming kick. The Pirates have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week and as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road. Throws it to coverage, just picked off. Broke away from one. They'll bring him down to the 13-yard line. Really nice cover skill shown here this time. That's exactly what you want to see from your young corners. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 13. two-yard run by the halfback. That's a nice play there by the sophomore out of the corner. He read the run and stepped up and made a nice tackle. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Gain of six on the play. That'll bring up third and two. Easy, 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 easy. Five. They can't bring him down, and he's in. And he hits the PAT with a three-play, 13-yard drive, and they put up seven points. The score now, 7-0. Army lines up for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Offense comes back out, looking to improve from their last effort. It may be early, but don't think the coaches haven't spent a lot of time reminding these guys how important it is to take care of the football. Steps up in the pocket. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. Good for a gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. Slings it. He goes out of bounds at the 34. job here in shutting down the run. That's a real boost for this team. The punting team's got to give their kicker some time. He really got a hold of that one. 
He'll take it from the 18. Tackle made at the 25. The Black Knights really taking care of business early in this football game. Yeah, somebody forgot to tell them that they're the big underdog in this game and they're supposed to lose. I love their confidence that they're playing with right now. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Army is up a score. After a nice pickup. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. fights forward to about the 33. They just kind of spun their wheels here, but credit to defense with not giving up any ground. It's away and it's a booming punt. And he's tackled at the 25 yard line. Army's got a great defensive game plan, and it's working right now. Well, even from up here, Brad, you can see their defensive speed, and they're just playing with a kind of an aggressive attitude. They're going to have to maintain that to slow down this offense. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. That's just a shame. The receiver did his job. He was able to get a step on the defender, but the ball was underthrown. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. And two. <laughs> Tries to thread the needle, and it's not going to work. And he's taken down around the 34-yard line. Big play there by the defense. That's their second pick of the half. Yeah, this offense has to stop making mistakes. These turnovers are putting pressure on their defense to make stops, and it's hard to win when you're always giving the ball away. From the 34-yard line, first down. He's tackled at about the 31. Seven. Army is up seven. Makes it out to about the 16. That's not everyday speed you're talking about with this guy. This is a unique burst combined with a really impressive field vision. And they make the stop around the 18-yard line. Loss of two yards on the play. Second and 12. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 18 yard line. 49 is the mic, watch 49. That's exactly what the was looking for. Yeah, that some added line they can capitalize off of it well let's see if he can shake off that pick that he tossed last time up so much in football is about how you respond to adversity moving forward after a turnover is a example of that quick pass brought down oh, at about the 30 yard line now yeah, the defense looked a little sluggish there they can do better than that that makes it first and ten. Mike six. Mike six. He's on the run. He's taken down at the 37-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. But you've always got to secure the ball tightly because, you know, everybody on that defense is trying to rip it away. They're about four yards away here on third down. Green nine, green nine, go! Fires 
quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab. He's taken down at the 26. Here comes the offense. No doubt looking to take better care of the ball on this drive. You don't change your philosophy after one play. They'll be out doing the same thing as before, just with better awareness. And they hit him in the back. Two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. It's second and 11. Ball on the 24-yard line. Army is up by a touchdown. That's going to do it for the first quarter, and we got a good one so far. The Black Knights with a touchdown lead. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Three down, three down. 49's the mic. Watch 49. Ready? Red. And he's tackled right around the 22-yard line. Losses two. That brings, that brings up third, third and 14. 14. It's third and 14. Ball on their own 22. Hey, man up, D. Man up, D. Let's go, let's go. Complete. He's got room. So the defense does their job well on that series. They did a pretty good job of not letting the offense get much going on that possession. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Can this defense play any better? I mean, these guys have a great tradition. They live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done. And if they are, then I think the defense should go down to the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get them fired up to go out there and get some more points on the board. And down he goes, around the 40. Yard line. And a quick throw. Tackle at the 36. Call it a game of eight yards. That makes it second and two. Quick throw, picked off. Very clutch tackle there because this kid had some space. So that's their third interception this half. It's simple, but the defense has been really, really good. And the offense has been really bad. From the 20-yard line, first down. Army up seven points. And they'll bring him down behind the line. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed it. They'll be protecting that football after learning the hard way on their last trip to the red zone. Check 99, check 99. Missed tackle. This one is incomplete. So it's fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. Kicks away. And he got it. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Kirk, I remember you had nights like this. Well, at this point, taking care of the football has to be their priority. They want to get back. If you can't take care of the ball, you just have no chance.
If he put those picks behind him, he still got a chance to pull out the victory. An interception cut this offense last drive short, so I think they're going to be looking for a little more success right here. The game is in danger of getting out of hand early. It's very, very important that they not only hang on the football drive, but they also need to score on the ball as well. That's a game of eight on the play. That makes it second and two. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He's pushed out of bounds at the 45-yard line. What a relief it is for a quarterback to know that he's got a receiver like this who can step up when he needs him on third down. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. Second and ten. Ball on the 45. And he's level at the 42-yard line. The thing about the option is you're going to have some big plays. But if you keep running it, it'll create some big play opportunities. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Strike to his receiver, no good. They're coming after this punter. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. You know what? It might not have been a lot, but they moved the ball forward. Football's not a game won 100 yards at a time. You take what you can get. Three points was the result of their last drive as the offense heads out for another. And they got him for a loss. They need to get back to some hard-nosed north and south running and try not to get to the outside so much. The defense just has too much speed for that. From their own 18-yard line, it's second down. Complete brought down, nothing doing. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. They'll bring him down at the 16-yard line. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. And this one is a beauty. You know, we're getting so used to pinball football with a lot of points. Kind of fun to see defenses play this way. Kind of refreshing, isn't it? I mean, every single week we call games and you're seeing scores in the 30s and 40s. This is one of those low-scoring games. Which offense would get that big break? Eventually, it could be the team that wins it. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. Makes the catch and look out. And he hits him hard at the 47. Call it a gain of six yards. That'll, That'll bring, bring up second, second and three. three. Fires right side. Got his tailback. They bring him down in the backfield. You know, the offensive play calling wasn't clicking on that last drive, and their execution was lacking. That makes it so Right now, he wants to get this kick away and change field position.
booming kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Fires out to his wideout, and he's taken down at about the 27-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. We've reached halftime, and I don't think too many people were expecting this. 10-0, Army. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. The Pirates' first half performance, not indicative of the type of ball club they have. Now, this is a team that has to come with a sense of urgency in every game. They don't have a wide margin for error. In this day and age of college football, David, when you don't have much of a margin for error, you don't have that urgency, you can find yourself in trouble. Well, you see upsets all the time, but it's always upsetting when you don't come with that urgency. And yeah, I know you're favored to win the ball game, but you don't just roll your helmet out there and all of a sudden the other team goes, I surrender and wave the right flag. So you got to make sure that you compete. You got to definitely play better. You got to execute better. No, nobody's going to give it to you. Sometimes you got to go out there and you got to take it. And to be doing it consistently week to week sometimes is a struggle for this ball club. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brett Nessler and Kirk Herbstreet ready with a call. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Black Knights continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. a great tackle at the 32. That's good for a of seven yards. That will bring up second and three. Kill, kill, kill! Black five! Up the middle. And they push him out at the 31-yard line. was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. He really got a hold of that one. Brought down at the 40. He did a good job there to give his team decent field position. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. They'll drop him for a loss. Those linebackers do a great job of stopping the run, but they need to be careful to play action pass. You can easily get fooled and give up some big yards through the air. From their own 38-yard line, second down. On the pitch, look out, loose ball. And it's scooped up by the running back. Knocked out of bounds around the 27-yard line. This offense can consider themselves very lucky to get this ball back. That's about as sloppy of an option play as you'll ever see. The timing and the focus are so important when trying to run this offense, and it looks to me like they just lost their focus there for a second. From their own 27-yard line, third down. Going over the middle, intercepted. He's tackled right around the 48-yard line. That INT puts him in a position to make this game. Yeah, they really needed that. That's a huge boost to morale. Larry, Larry. Eat it up. Hey, check back, check back, Mike 
Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. They didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Makes a grab and steps out right away. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. He gets rid of this one. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Hit. Black five. Hit. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes which is a truly underrated quality these days. And he gets a yard on the run. Touchdown, ECU! This back has great vision, which allows him to make runs like this one we just saw. Here's the point after to try to cut this to a three-point game. He makes the PAT. So that's a seven-play, 48-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Pirates came into the second half, and they looked like they were just going to cruise to a victory. Right now, they better turn it around, or they could lose this lead. You're right. I, I don't know what happened at halftime. Maybe they were worried about the press clippings after this game, but they better get things in order. They could end up losing this ball game. Army is up by three. He's got the corner. So he picks up about five on the option to the halfback. That brings him second and five. Brought down around the 29 yard line. That is a loss of one yard. That'll bring up third and six. We've got a third and six here. Ball in the 29. left and he'll lose yards here. That's a loss of three yards on the play. That brings up third and 14. Third down now and they need to get it inside the 42. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. And he tackles him hard to the 38 yard line. That's a loss of seven yards. Fourth down. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. Oh, excellent punt. Tackle made at the 25-yard line. Made the decision to return the ball. I'm sure he thought there was going to be some room to run. But boy, did it vanish in a hurry. Still, 
he got something out of it. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's tackled at about the 29-yard line. That's, That's good, good for a gain, gain of four, four yards. yards. That, that makes, makes it second, second and six. six. Zips it right. Intercepted. Steps out of bounds at the 49. That gives the defense their fourth play. This defense is four playmakers. They force the quarterback to make tough throws that he doesn't want to make, and that usually adds up to turnovers. From their own 49-yard line, it's first down. Penetration by the defense. That's a loss of one on the option. That'll bring up second and 12. From the 42-yard line, second down. Ready! He's on the run. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. They don't want us. Lack of offense or great defense, call it what you will. We head to the fourth quarter. 10-7, Army. Back to the action here. Tight ball game in the fourth quarter. Let's go, let's go. Army has a three-point lead. We might look back on this game when it's all over and say that's the point where they won the football game with that stop. That makes it fourth and long. And they could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. This has been like a heavyweight bout, Kirk. Both teams just hammering each other defensively. Love to watch two defenses fly around like this and just lay into these offenses, not giving them any chance to put any points up on the board. Well, here we are early in the fourth quarter in a very, very tight ball game, and every possession is going to count from here on out. Set! Set! Concentration to haul it in. Tackle at the 31. He put the ball in there perfectly that time. And let me tell you, this kid has impressed me all day with the touch on his passes. That's a good looking throw there. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Move four. Move four. He steps out at the 34 yard line. A pickup of about three. That's a nice catch by the junior wide receiver, but an even better effort by the defense to keep him from going anywhere. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Don't kill him. Gets to about the 37-yard line. That's good. 
They come out on an empty backfield. He's taken down at the 36-yard line. He had nowhere to go on that option play. Boy, you're right. He's lucky he held on to the football there. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Army is up a field goal. And they got him for a loss. Well, give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Here we go! Red and hot! He's knocked out of bounds around the 31 yard line. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He gets hit out of bounds at the 38. The Pirates were really mistaken if they looked at this game as a gimme. Well, they've been in a dogfight the entire ball game. Let's see what they can do with this final drive. They still have time here to be able to pull out and try to get a win. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Complete and taken down immediately. Number 17 with the tackle at the 42 yard line. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. He's hit and taken down. Number 23 on the tackle at the 28-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Dog four! Blue four! And a quick throw. They'll bring him down at about the 23-yard line. That brings him second and five. He's immediately tackled. Call it again at eight yards. First down. Easy. Easy. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 15. Taken down right around the four yard line. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. That makes it first and goal. And they make the stop at the three yard line. That brings them second and goal. And down he goes around the three yard line. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Touchdown! Touchdown. 
down, and now they're in front. Boy, they had to dig deep to score here that late in the fourth quarter and come from behind. And now the question is, can their defense dig in and win it for them? And he hits the PAT. A nice 10 play, 63 yard drive. And they put up seven points. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 22. The Black Knights have got to be fired up how this game is going. They still got a chance to win. Well, you're talking about a huge underdog that's battled the entire game. They've got the football here to start this drive late with a chance to take the lead. You can't even imagine what this would do for this football team if they can put six points up on them. Here they come. Got it. And he goes down quickly. So they go to the air and pick up six. You get six yards, and that makes picking up the first down very reasonable. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 28-yard line. Going right to his tailback. Not that impressive of a play. Let's see if they continue to employ the short passing game or if they decide to run the ball. Just a tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game. And now the offense has got a chance to win it. Loose football. They fall out. This is where the offense has to come to the forefront. They work all week for situations like this. They've got the lead. They've got a chance to add to it, and that'd mean a victory. Favorite play in football of your quarterback. Take a knee. From the 20-yard line, second down. East Carolina is up four. Takes a knee. Inside the 10. Nice play to set up first and goal. This one's in the books, and our final score, 14-10, Pirates. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.